Celeste and Super Meat Boy are considered to be the gold standard of 2D platforming. That's because they go beyond just a simple directional movement and a satisfying jump. They're good platformers because they use a lot of invisible tricks in their physics in order to create the illusion of tight controls. I recreated all of these invisible tricks in this Unity Player Controller, and I'm not only going to tell you how it works, but you can also go and download the source code from the description below, completely free to use in your game. This controller is using entirely custom made physics. As you can see, no rigid body or colliders in sight. Anyway, let's jump in and cover these invisible and not so invisible tricks. Variable jump height. Releasing jump early gives the player control over the height of the jump. This is done by adding additional downward force to the character when the player releases jump. Apex modifiers. At the apex of your jump, you're given a moment of anti-gravity, as well as a minor speed boost. This gives you great jump control and allows you to easily land where you intend. Here's an example of it with exaggerated values. Jump buffering lets you queue up the next jump before actually hitting the ground. This is possibly the most vital hidden feature of a good controller. If the player presses jump and the character just sits there, it's gonna feel like garbage. Coyote Time lets you execute your jump even after leaving the platform, just for a few milliseconds. This is accomplished by noting when the character leaves grounded and checking to see if the jump was pressed within the Coyote threshold. Clamped Fall Speed. So, losing complete control over the character when falling sucks. Clamping the fall speed at just the right amount provides the ability to dodge or land on platforms easier. It also allows the level designers to incorporate falling as a key mechanic in the game. And lastly, edge detection. Instead of hitting your head on the corner and bouncing right down to the ground, I nudge the player ever so slightly in the direction they intended to go. This works the same for ledge catching too. If you jump for a ledge and miss it by an inch, the controller will be a little forgiving and nudge you up. This is accomplished by nudging them in the opposite direction for a few frames while respecting their current horizontal movement. So, when it comes to platforming that feels good, I can't really describe that with words, so you'll have to go try it for yourself. The link is down below, and that's also where you can download the source code if you want to use this in your game. I've added the ability to toggle the invisible tricks on and off, so you can feel the difference they make firsthand. And oh yeah, if you're feeling confident, come over to the Discord and share your fastest run time. I'm not going to tell you my best time, but all I can say is a sub 9 second run is possible. Like the video, subscribe to my damn channel, and I'll see you next time.